Hey guys and gals, let's build the Force Animals Red Fox by LEGO Creator. This is set number 31154, contains 667 bricks, retails for $49.99, and this set was provided by the LEGO Group for early review. And put that iPad over there because I'm done reading the info off of that. And before that falls off, yeah, we're going to move that way over there. We don't want that to fall and break. You know how Apple products are. And that's essentially what we're going to be making. There are two alternative builds. We also got the squirrel or chipmunk and the owl in a tree. Well, I like the squirrel, but no, we're going to build the fox. And this is forest animals, and since I like nature and stuff, but I'm not really a fan of brick-built animals. You know, but, well, let's see here. You know, it's, uh, this was a sad that I was hoping that wasn't going to be sent to me but it, but it's here so i got to do it <laughs> so that's essentially what we're going to be working on and the book just jumps right on in so it tells you how to use the brick separator and in addition we have paper bags so there's actually five bags in total now what i'm going to do here let me get my brains in <laughs> and get set up here we're going to start with bag one at least they're paper bags. And I have been, oh, that tore perfectly. Look how straight that is. Okay. I am just tired. It's last week where I have to go back to work. What better way is to build a set you don't really want to build? Well, I'll we'll give it a shot here. And, oh. Here's a trick that my friend Josh told me. Don't throw away your bags until you're done with the steps. So that's what we're going to be doing. And I got parts flying out. And that's one thing bad about the paper bags. You can't see what's in them and parts just roll on the floor. All right. All right. So let's begin here. Get that. Get off there. <laughs> that's where we're going to start now. And I'm just not into these type of sets. When I signed up for LEGO Creators, I was expecting more like city builds, um, vehicles and stuff. And, and, or, you know, something fun. These are, I mean, we don't know yet. We haven't even, I hadn't even gave this one a world, so I don't know if I'll like it or not. But I'm tired. Uh, I spent probably three hours working in the crawl space of my house. And today is the 15th of, uh, oh, it's, it's the day after uh, February 15th, 2024. Uh, you can tell I'm tired. So three hours in a crawl space, hooking up um, uh, TV antenna wires and uh, Ethernet wires for smart TVs. It's, it's a lot of work. In fact, I should have just filmed it, but it made a great, this goes on the bottom, it makes a great DIY to, uh, thing. And that's pretty much what I'm working on now. <laughs> so I have been kept very busy, especially for the last week. I'm trying to get all this stuff done before work hits hard next week. Because 12 weeks went by fast. You know how the kids, they only get like six weeks off for summer? Well, that was 12 weeks, and it went pretty quick. You know. you got to go back into the grind sometime. We can't just stop what we're doing. All right. So that's pretty much what happened. And as far as for tutorials go, I haven't filmed any new tutorials yet. I am working on this. But I have just a couple of ideas that are in the rough. So we're, we're, we're going to use that as an excuse here. I have a couple ideas that I've been kind of tinkering around with. I got the, if you probably heard, I got the, I got the tour bus done, and got a couple of vehicles done. So I got five vehicles done for the year. I'm shooting for eight. So that's essentially what I will be doing. And yeah, crawling up in the uh, crawl space in my house, only about three and a half, four foot tall, but I had to go to one part where the master bedroom was at and I was literally just curled a little ball crouched down trying to get in there just to reach the ethernet wire and the coax for the TV antenna 
That was not fun. And I was just filthy when I got out of there. I thought, well, I gotta hop in the shower. So I try to do that at night before I have to shower just to get it out of the way. Are we missing a... Oh, and I thought we were... Wait, wait. Oh, I'm reading the wrong step. I was like, why am I missing here? No, I already did that one. So, yeah. You can always use these. These work good for making furniture and stuff. I bought a few of those a while back, but now we got them in the set. So that's pretty much what's been going on. I have... I'm going to be building my very first modular. I'm hoping to get it done by May. If not, I have an alternative tutorial to put in there. But we're going to hope to squeeze out a mock, and there will be a mock in June. And of course, July. Um, and I just figured out how I'm going to do August for August tutorials. August will have five tutorials. So, kudos there. And yeah, and I got old cell phones falling around me in here. I'm just kind of. You know, when people give me their old cell phones because they don't want them, I use them for, uh, like, movie players, iPods, whatever you can think of. I don't no need to waste them. See, so, yeah, that's what's up, been up with me, so I've been kind of doing that stuff. And, yeah, my hands are kind of tired tonight, so I may seem a little uh, exhausted. This set has got a lot of earth tone colors, and these are really kind of hard to straighten out. So, I was looking at the box initially, I thought these parts might be good for making furniture, because this is something you use for like a leather sofa or something. And this is great for terrain. So, I, there's just, this set may be just good for parts. And it retails for $49.99, we'll see what that really gets us here. If you see an owie on my thumb, I had a like an ingrown nail or something like that, and it hurts. So I try not to think about it too much. Yeah. Last time I really crawled in my crawl space was about maybe six, seven years ago. Boy, I, you know, I'm just getting older. I'm out of shape, one of the two, or maybe both. So yeah, I gotta have to really step up my game there. Maybe if I sleep it off. And we'll, we'll see how this goes here. So I've got that pesky haircut, but you know what? I'm saving that when I'm in town. <laughs> uh, I missed, I, we actually had our very first Lego convention. I heard it was a pretty good one, uh, but I didn't go to it. That's my fault. Mainly because I didn't want to go into town. I wanted to enjoy my freedoms before I have to go back to the grindstone again. So it's like, well, when I heard it was just kind of mediocre to some kids that never been to one, it was fun. Probably would have had too much fun there for me. Um, you know what I've got to do? Put this one in here. So I'm going to try not to do this. I'm trying to keep my hands away as much as I can. I know one of you had mentioned that in a couple of videos I'm always doing this. I wish I could do this, but unfortunately I have to sit off the side with these. Tutorials are one thing, but this is another. Yeah, so I'm always into trying to improve these. So if you're constructive, I will try my best to improve things. Making sure here... Well, I guess that I guess that does sit on those studs right in there. Oh, it looked kind of off, but no, that's how they want it. Yeah, so this set I can say it's probably got some nice color for furniture builds. Because dark orange is gonna be my new go-to color, in addition to reddish brown and to medium nougat for furniture. And yeah. I forgot to put these in here, too. So I may skip steps from time to time in these, and that's quite all right. And so these are not meant to be construed as building tutorials, because I do forget sometimes. So, yeah. Okay, that looks pretty good.
See, I'm covering up that part. So it's just sometimes I can't can't help it. Watched on the on one of the major news channels. That I guess there was a kid that was inspiring young ones to use Lego 2 for building to connect, which is cool. Lego's a really good tool for that. And he was taking all these recycled sets, you know, sets that people were going to throw into the landfill. Why would they do that? You know, it beats me. And he was taking them and just using them for, um, you know, what I do is part sets out. But he's giving them to, like, um, oh, I think they said they were giving them to the children's hospitals or something like that. And I wish I could give some of this stuff away, but I'm not allowed to. But it's kind of cool to see a teenager doing that. Don't get me started on that rant, but it's if we try to give this stuff away, we get in trouble and get booted for it. But I'm going to try to keep the rants down to a roar. I bet that goes there. Right now I caught myself. Oh, this set does not come with the... Oh, yeah, never mind. I was going to say it doesn't come with the brick separator, but there it is right there in front of me. Boy, I need to get my contacts readjusted. <laughs> oh, goodness. I got to pay attention more. But yeah, like these, I don't have these in this color. It'd be good for furniture. So, yep, so I'll be back at the computer. I've been working on my TV tuner project, though, just kind of doodling it on the side. And I got it to mostly work at this point where I can watch it on the iPad. The phone will pretty much kill the tuner off, locks it on a channel, so I'm trying to think of a way to prevent that from happening. Hmm, I thought it asked for another one, there it is. Oh, okay, these are coming the inverted ones, they make great, you know, parts for a cushion. A 2x2 two two plate with bow. I was watching some of my old videos, you know, checking them for profanities and stuff. I found a few of them that had it. I remember one of my videos I mentioned, I wonder how many celebrities watch these. I always kind of wonder. I don't know. It'd be kind of cool if I had some big popular celebrity watch my content. It would be really cool. <laughs> watch a peasant like me building Lego sets for fun. But that's all that it, this is, though. It's really just merely fun at this point. Yeah, so dark orange is a good color to have. Furniture. Now, I'm going to go ahead and build this whole thing in one sitting. Well, i got other things i got to do. So I'll be taking frequent breaks, but on your end, you will not know it, but it will be indexed. And it won't, you won't know until, uh, um, well, you can look in the description for the indexes. And then, um, and you can just skip through parts you want. Because I know there's going to be somebody out there who's going to get stuck. Even I get stuck. I had one person that kind of got mad at me because I messed up on something. I'm like, I do this stuff for fun. I'm not here to make these professional. And at least I'm honest when I make a mistake. It's okay to make mistakes on this stuff. So that's what it looks like on the top. Okay, and I got the secondary light on too. Yeah, after being in that crawl space for three hours, stringing wires, and I've been thirsty. Plus, I haven't been sleeping well, too, because it's the work woes. It's the same kind of woes, and I had to go back to when college was, when college break was over, you had to go back and learn. It's like, okay, let me get this out of the way and get my, get my degree and be done with it. In fact, I was going through one of my old hard drives and I found my dissertation and notes when I was going to get my um, 
when I was going through the whole dreaded um, defense thing, I thought, oh man, the nightmare started coming back again full force. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to get rid of that term paper. That's what got me where I'm at today. So I don't want to toss it. You know how that is. Doesn't take a whole lot of space. But you know what, though? I still remember that when I got called in and just made an appointment to for them. You got to go in and defend your your dissertation, your your doctoral work. But, that nightmare is behind me now. All I can focus on is the Lego stuff, the fun stuff, until work starts again. All right, so this must be the hairy chest, the belly of this beast. Okay, that's there. And... These two plates here are obviously going to have to line up like that. So see, press that down firm. Let's be lined up there. Yeah, I was coughing up a storm when I was up in the attic. And it wasn't due to asthma or anything. It was because I had a dry throat. You can't just drink stuff while you're up there. With all the dust. And even with a mask on, it wasn't enough. I don't have any more of those goofy N95 masks. You know what? I bet you anything that we're getting into mirrors. So let's take a look here. Now, if you're watching me, you don't have to do the mirrors. I know some people say they get confused. You don't have to do what I'm doing here. Okay. You just don't. Because if you do not feel comfortable, that's quite all right. You can do one step at a time. It's your Lego set. You can build it any way you want. Okay. You can build it any way you want. The right way to build a Lego set is the way that works for you. Now, there's, there's big YouTubers out there that will tell you to build it a certain way. Here, I'm telling you to build it the way that it's comfortable for you. And this one here goes on this side. This must be the torso. Yeah, so I'm kind of excited to share with you guys some summer projects. I know there's going to be some that are like me. You're cooped up at home all summer work and all that stuff and if you are I mean I you know we're in the same boat together by the time you're watching this this is a set that Lego said release when you get it done so this one I'm kind of pushing hardcore on it first and once I get this set here done I got let me go pick that up but once I get this set done I have another one that I got to get done real quick. And I can get back into the tutorials. So like right now I have tutorials that are rough sketched. I haven't even built them. Man, I got to... That's what I'm saying. I've been crawling up in that attic too much. Hopefully I'll get a better night's sleep. I exhausted myself. Yeah, I mean, if ever been in one of those nasty, dirty attics, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Did that go in somewhere? Oh yeah, I almost missed that. All right. Um... Wait, hold on, I messed up here. You know what I forgot to do? There's two tiles that go one here. Alright, let me 
make sure that's straight. I got this stinking hair that keeps flying in my face and you know what it does make me look a little younger but also look a little unkept too. <laughs> Girlfriend wants me to keep it, but I was like, I'm like, dear, I gotta cut that off. It's getting kind of annoying. Well, ladies know best, but after a while, it's like, I can't take it anymore. All right, we're just about there. We gotta do more stuff, but hey, let's do it. I'm like, these are great for terrains. So we're gonna start piecing this together. Yeah, I went out for um, um, what's that holiday? Valentine's Day. Give us some ways to get out of the house <laughs> and do something fun other than work. <laughs> I was like, yes, we're going to do something fun, and we did. It was we went to went to the beach for a bit. For, the, for, the, for a couple of days, and that was it. And that was fine by me. And you know what, though? Hey, at least I had fun and it wasn't boring. Okay. So we're building up the torso area. And, well, let's put it back the way so you can see how it is. And that's what we have remaining there. Let's take a look. Remember we did duplicates. So I'm checking my work, and that's exactly where we left off at. Alright, let's pull up old bag two here. Like it's the same size. Move the torso out of the way. It wants to roll around and try to attack me. Oh, that didn't cut too good. Well, I guess it did. I'm fooling myself again. Now, here's the thing, though. If you got a large bowl, something with very high sides, it'd be, I would advise that you do this when you pull, tear and open these paper bags and just kind of, you know, fill them and stuff like that. Or hold them up to the light. That also works, too. And, yes, I'm throwing those on the floor. <laughs> I've busted my buns. I don't want to have to do any more. I'll clean it up later. So we're still working on this. So unfortunately now, I don't think this is a collaborative build. Let's see here. I haven't really seen any pieces that, st that stood out to me. Oh, well, that'd be great for a campfire, this cross piece. But, yeah. I got a... I've got a bed that's calling me, but you know what? We're gonna we're gonna do this first. We're gonna nail this one out. Matter of fact, I took a very long sh steamy shower, and I still feel like I'm covered in all that dusty stuff. I mean, hand sure got a workout today. It was just mostly hanging onto the rafters and putting your feet on the on the joist and hoping, that, goodness, you don't make one false move and you fall through the ceiling, that wouldn't be too fun. Where I was at was like 10 foot down, so that would have been one heck of a drop. Oh, you know what I forgot to do is put these in here. Let's put them in there now. So at least I got that done. This kind of reminds me of that one goofy set, the the giraffe one, the hammerhead giraffe. Well, that just flew right off. Try to attack me. Y'all remember the hammerhead giraffe where you can hammer the nails back in your workbench? Yeah, that giraffe. I still have him assembled. Haven't taken him apart yet. Matter of fact, I haven't really been parting anything out. Where does that go again? Right there. I hope this is like the giraffe where all the joints are just really hidden. 
and we got to make two of these. And dark orange slopes are kind of rare, so like this. I don't think I've ever seen this piece. Matter of fact, this looks like gingerbread. And you know what? I never made my holiday cookies for this whole year. I was talking about I have all the cookie mix. And I better get on to that before summer hits, too. Because out where I'm at now, they're talking about making you pay more if you... Like if you make a lot, if you have a job that pays good, they're going to charge you more for electric. And I've already making plans of leaving this place anyways. They're doing it in California. Why? I don't know. Maybe they're just trying to run everybody out of here. Who knows? In Lego, you should have put highlights. So where does these go exactly? Oh, I see where they go. Yeah, so I need to fix it, that light, and then the ring light. And I got the stuff for the phone to attach it to the tripod. I haven't done that yet, so it's still sitting behind my shoulder right now. get to it when I get to it. <laughs> and as it moves, I don't think it's going to go anywhere here. Alrighty. So obviously this thing's on its back. Okay. Is this a duplicate or is this the head? No, it's the neck. All right. Oh, don't roll. Matter of fact, there was a project that I wanted to build that needed some of these parts. Well, now here they are. I just, uh, a little too late now, but. Yeah, and so I know for March, I'm going to have a big, nasty workload. It's going to hit me pretty hard. And I'm not looking forward to that. <laughs> you know what that is? Taxes. I already got my personal taxes done, but I got to do the company stuff now, which is not, not too exciting, but, you know, that's the price to pay. Got to do them. more of these brackets here and am I enjoying this set so far it's different uh, I'm not gonna say I'm losing interest in it but I would say this is more of a time waster build than anything else so my build experience I would say is at it, it's average I'm not gonna trash this set just yet until uh, we get to the finishing the finish line here so I'm not gonna say oh don't get this it's horrible we don't know I, I don't know I've just started so I can never tell you can't tell you this is gonna be such a miserable set and lie to you and I'm gonna be happy on the inside I was looking for one of these too in black I have some but I never can find them If you need roof slopes, are uh, the these type of things right here look like a half of a pyramid? The set's got a bunch, and so far I think I've already counted like three of them. So if you got enough white slopes and you want to build a snow-covered roof, well there you go. Work really well for that. And now they want them like that. You wouldn't want to step on that late at night. He's good for drape. And curtain balances too so I kind of hoard these up and trying to buy those teeth pieces all in different colors
Okay. Now, I wish LEGO would make these creator sets more collaborative, but it would be very expensive if they had it where you can build all three models. Okay, so... Because, you know, one person can build the squirrel and another one can build the owl. It would be pretty cool, you know, but they would be very pricey. You know, I was... Reading some of the comments about that, um, that GWP uh, set, the one with the, the the baby space babies in there, the you know, and some don't like it, mainly because it's got the stickers and it doesn't feel authentic, and you know it's not supposed to, I guess. But I have to agree. It was an enjoyable build. I enjoy putting it together. It's a nice build, but the stickers is what dropped. I think it was an eight. That and some of the things were falling apart. And I got to think, and more and more, why doesn't Lego bring out these really good... Bring out the classic space like as they were back in the day so younger builders can enjoy them. It's beyond me. All right. Matter of fact, I was up in my attic. There's, there wood up the wood up there that's like 60, 70 years old is still dripping sap out of it. I was like, it took forever to get the sap out of my palms. That's like, cause I was holding on to one of the rafters for dear life. And I was like, man, there's the sap everywhere. It's like sappy. Um, yeah, I'm looking for the inverted bowels. Alright, well, let's start sorting things out by type and color. So we find it. Now, if you ever want to go into your crawl space, I'm not talking about one of those nice, fancy, finished off walk in attics, uh, just to drop a couple of Ethernet and Television antenna wires is is enough for me. There's only a few rooms have the internet put in it. Every room has one for the computer. But now you know it's cheaper if you use splitters, like a little network hub. But why when I can just ooh do it more of a formal way and I have my house all set up to where it's like commercial uh, commercially wired up so it makes it a little easier so that means you know I can send a file to another computer in a matter of just nanoseconds instead of just wasting time putting it on a cloud somewhere all right, you know that's not it we're finding I'm finding all the parts we're gonna find it eventually here um, this is what we do here. We just keep sorting. Oh, they got some of these downwards. I think I may have a few of those. Jay, you're sure taking a lot of time. Well, that's the beauty of these things. I need two of these. Oh, no, I only need one. I'm not even paying attention. Wow. Whoa, I really need to go to bed, huh? <laughs> yeah, let's see here. Yeah, I've been kind of joining some streams lately, and some Lego streams. I haven't gotten banned yet, so that's pretty good. Some people are very nice and want to talk to me. There was one stream I went into, and the host stepped away. The one guy was so excited, he was actually talking to me, which makes me always feel good. People remember me and my work. Not so much the reviews, though. Okay, so this goes in like that. So, let's make sure we get that in correctly here. Looks like it goes like this. And I bet you it's going to rest right on those things. So let's see here. I'm going to make it to where you can see it. It says go at a 45. Will it work? 
Yes, it does. And yet, it wiggles just a little bit, but not too bad. That's starting to look like something, huh? Yeah. Looks like a drumstick you can pound the nails in your table with. All right, so now it looks like we're working on one side. So what we're going to do, we're going to do the mirror thing again. So what I'm going to do is set the parts up the way they are and do these. Yeah, when I got out of that crawl space today, my goodness, my arms, even they still feel like that, still feel kind of jelly. And the legs, except my right arm feels fine, but probably won't tomorrow, but we'll find out. That's why I'm filming this now, while I still feel refreshed you know, from the shower. best thing to do is to always keep yourself busy and active. A lot of older people, even my dad, when he used to be able to move around and stuff, he would, uh, he, you'd hear him doing, oh, and I do that very seldomly. The reason being is, is I don't like to sit for too long. It actually works, too. So, in order to keep the Remember, just like an old car, you know, you got to warm up. You got to let the, you got to keep the joints lubricated. So there you go. That's how you do it. And uh, wait a minute. Oh, we're looking at that one there. Okay, so it looks like the pitcher. Yeah, so I went to the dentist, got that taken away, there was no problems, um, car's done, and all I got to do now is just relax. And then we just built this. All right, so let's put this one on here first since we're here. And it looks like it goes right there. Okay. We'll take the other one here. It goes right there. Now, if you're not sure, just rotate it around. No, I would have put that so it goes right there. So see how that's pretty much, this will swivel a little bit. I don't know about these holes here, but look at this. That's not too bad. I mean, that's pretty well closed up for what it is. Oh, we got to do the head next. Oh, that's going to be fun. Let's do that. Well, be obviously the, the, um, the fox is not going to have uh, two heads or more, so obviously this is going to be a normal one. Yeah, I got my. Still got to do some work on that TV tuner project, though. I got it to where um, I got when I put this new antenna. It was one of these really good ones. I had an old one that was in there for about 15, 20 years, and it was working okay. It just needed to be replaced because um, the signal out here is kind of kind of questionable, and two. Um, with more TVs, you hook up to it, you lose, um, you lose the signal strength. So that's what I thought. Well, I'll get a better one, and that's what, what I did. And I haven't obtained any more blonde or tongue things yet, so I can't put all my vintage TVs to, to use. But everybody wants the smart TVs. You know, that's not a bad idea using those cross plates. Imagine trying to do that with with old school parts. It'd be a lot of work. Yeah, I was going to bake some peanut butter cookies, snickerdoodles, um, chocolate chip, sh uh, sugar, but my favorite's the peanut butter. I just never got to it, I guess. But I will eventually. Yeah. 
Hey, the oven ain't going anywhere. <laughs> I don't know if anybody would be interested in me doing videos on work around the house, like uh, home improvement projects and stuff. Uh, it's either hire someone else to do the nasty attic work, or I do it myself. You get a quote of like three thousand dollars to do something that I can do in two nights is not too bad. And I still got to buy all the materials, too. Well, I have everything here, so I don't need to do any of that. And that's dark brown. Ooh, isn't that exciting? Okay. Yeah, but I've noticed a lot of my the views on my uh, on my main channel are not doing very good so tutorials are going to be kind of kind of lacking in a bit you know and probably in the weeks to come I haven't figured it out yet all right so we're building two these are mirrors so let's just start on it now I know some have told me well Jay I don't want to see your tutorials go I don't want to stop either I'm not going to get rid of tutorials they're still going to be on Patreon and YouTube members I could have used that for some stuff. Where was that when I needed it, huh? I don't know, some... I've had one comment saying that I talk too much in these. Oh, I did have somebody said that they liked one of my videos, but they got tired of hearing me complain about the vomit colors in that dried flower set. And, you know, I, I was, because I was going back through all that, making sure I didn't you know, say any bad words or something like that. And, you know, that's just my opinions. And I'm sorry if, you know, some people don't like that. That's fine. But those colors were just depressing in that. I mean, I mean my mom liked it. And I'm just like, yeah, it's not colorful enough. But I don't know those rows. You know, all those flower sets, and my mom wants them displayed around the house because I was going to part them out. And I said, well, well, I'll hang on to them a little bit. You know, I'm just going to rip them apart for the parts. Oh, yeah, well, how are we going to see that? We have to eyeball it here. So it's like this on the side. I'll show you here. Let's put this one in here, and I'll show you here. So that's what it looks like with the eyes. See, they show you back in here. You have to really pay attention, make sure you get that right, but that's what it looks like there. They should start with this one first and work over there. Why they didn't do that, I don't know. But no, she likes those roses. Matter of fact, a lot of people have been buying those rose flowers because they're a nice collaborative build. I mean, usually uh, those type of sets I kind of frown on, but my goodness, you know, those were, they were a pretty fun build. Too bad the girlfriend wasn't interested, but, you know, still. Of course, she's told me, don't give me any Lego flowers. I'm like, okay. <laughs> they won't die, but all right, you know. I got this annoying white hair floating in my face, like two of them. It's like, yeah. Here's a piece that goes here. Oh, there's three of those we got to put in here. Wait a minute, hold the phone. Let me take a look here. I was looking at that and thought that was brown right there, right above my thumb right there. No, I thought that was a brown plate. Now that's, it's the line on that brick there. So if you see that, no, you didn't do it wrong. You did it right. So it's like that right on the top. Just check your work. If you're not sure and you have to question yourself, just check your work. You're not going to, you, no one's going to judge you if you do that. Just check it. Like right now, um, What I'm going to do is do both sides of the uh, fox right now. Let 
There we go. Rotate it back around. And one of these here. Sometimes I though I wish I can just give these sets away because I got guys and gals. I'm gonna be honest. I have too much Lego stuff, and we're not allowed to give this stuff away. But I wish I could. But if you get too much, okay, it goes right there. I couldn't tell. Okay, I'm being silly again. It's the attic dust that got to me. Okay. Let's put this one here because we already found it. See, it's pretty seamless there. I mean, this is really thought out well for what this is. Probably used a program for it. You just 3D scanned a fox and cranked the handle and there you go. Yeah, we've been playing that Lego Fortnite a lot. It's not too bad. Um, all been kind of working as a team building up our villages we have like I have like a makeshift uh, um, a frosted biome village off to the side where it's easy to walk to I'm trying to build that up we're trying to unlock all the building stuff oh wait a minute that's backwards well, at least I need a brick separate but boy my hand sure felt that pinch all right and yeah, there we go. And we gotta stick the fluffy f fur. Right here along with the tooth. There's three pieces. What I'm gonna do though, I'm just gonna put both pieces on here first. Start with that and then I'm gonna work my way around. Just to simplify the build a bit more. Now, the reason why I'm keeping this in one installment versus two, because tomorrow I got to finish up wiring everything up, and I don't want to have to uh, be. I'm going to be more tired than I am now, and I'd rather just get this out of the way and then f film it and edit it. So when I crawl back up there to do this thing again, because I got to run a bunch more wires. It's not too bad, and we got that done there. Okay, now. Make sure your slopes are facing outwards. I don't know how critical it is, but we'll see here. I mean, so far, it looks like a fox. I mean, it's it's recognizable, so there you go. Well, there you go. I hope you guys and gals enjoy these videos. I try to add commentary as much as I can. You know, when I'm building mostly over here, I want to just do it like that. Yeah, I've been watching some of the older stuff. Boy, I ranted a lot. and I mean, this doesn't go here. Oh, wait. You know what? I just noticed something. We're going to be building mirrors. So, let's just do the mirrors now. Okay. And... My birthday is also going to be coming up, too. And... What, what are my plans? You can probably guess. Hey, I've already had a already had a vacation, so that's enough for me. You know, if it was for two nights, three days, hey, I'll take whatever I can grab right now before it gets pretty bad. So it goes like this. So this tile goes here. It's just easier to put this tile on now. Well, stick it there before it falls off and tries to play hide and seek from us. See, then we can copy this guy here on this side. See, my hands feel dirty. 
I've cleaned them like three times and put some moisturizer on them. Okay, now this guy here probably connects there like that. Just press it down so it's even with this on the top. So this other one is the same way. So you can take a look right there. Not too bad for a head, huh? Mount that above your fireplace. There you go. You got to stuff Fox's head. And then we just did that side. Now we got to build the ears. And they're mirrored. So let's just do that real quick. Yes. Yeah, when I was, I got out of the shower, I was just grooming my hair, and I thought, man, some of my buddies are like full-blown bald. I still got this thick mop on my head. And I was like, man, I don't know if I can handle that, to be honest. All right. Let's start installing the ears. So, you can do them like this, or just have them lean up against the, the slopes. And we have a bunch of slopes here, so we're going to have to check our work. We might have forgot some stuff. Like right about here, what happened there? Okay, well, now it's time to polish up the the mistakes that I made. Got to put the nose. How is he going to smell anything without that? And we have extra ones of these. You know, I understand maybe one, two, but we have two of those. And I don't see anything else that's missing except there. Let's see, let's go check our work. Maybe we forgot some. Because Lego's not that generous. They don't give us that many parts. I mean, there's nowhere to place any of this stuff. That's the beauty of Lego. You could check your work. Always check your work. If you're not sure, check it. Obviously, it doesn't go in there. Or maybe it just is extra parts. I would assume them go in there, but it shows nothing there at all. There's nothing there, too. I don't see anything missing in the back. There's not even any studs. The only studs I see is this one here. And these two here that could be accessed, but uh, maybe it's just extra parts. Just checking the head. Do we need anything on the ears? I mean, this is the beauty about Lego, guys and gals. You can check your work. They could just be extra pieces that we had, too. But I want to make sure. Let's doubly make sure here. Take a look at the back. That's correct. I already spot a mistake right here. This is supposed to be like that. Okay. Okay, I don't see anything missing there. Maybe they are ex extra parts. Well, that's not too bad. I can always use those. These little ridge slopes. Not too bad for what we have there. That's a lot of extra pieces for bag two. And I almost forgot to attach the fox's head, so let's just install that in there. Goes right in there. Best thing to probably do is to hold on right, right here on its cheeks and just like that. So now he can look up to the sky and just howl and stuff like that. Or just looks down. Probably looks better like that. Okay, now we're going to move on to bag three. And in between scenes, I was 
doing some more chores. So, oh, that didn't tear very well. Oh, that was a lousy one, huh? Maybe I shouldn't have done the chores. That's probably what the bag was telling me. Okay. These little bags are always kind of a kind of a turd to tear. Instead of saying profanities, now we'll just use that word, the turd. Alright. Oh, there's a piece. I'm glad I felt that. So far, I haven't really seen anything that's been catching my eye in terms of part. Oh, that brown telephone base is kind of interesting. Okay, so what I'm gathering is, let me just kind of skim ahead here. So we're building the legs. So I'm a, we're building the front legs, so I'm assuming these are going to be in pairs. So, well, that's an interesting part. I've never seen them like that before. As a matter of fact, those are friction. Those would make great axle pieces, but they're not. Okay. So let's build this. Let's build a mirror. <laughs> you know, if you see any parts, well, if I see any parts, I'll let you know if there's anything cool. Mostly a lot of plates with bow, though. That's what I've been seeing a whole bunch of in angler plates. This would be great for a doormat or a round coffee table. Sometimes I wish they would just have maybe a stud or two in the middle. Make a great coffee table. You can just have nothing on it. Make a great coffee table. Now, some of you have been messaging me about how you like the inspiration and ideas that go with this stuff. And that's what it is. Matter of fact, I was looking for these downward ones in that color. And that dark orange. Well, now I have some in here now. Now if we get Lego to bring that in dark orange, I probably already do, but I, Lego's been releasing some of the new parts on Pick-A-Brick, and of course right after I place an order too, it's like I wait for, I got half my Lego haul in, but I have to wait for the other part to come before I can place another order. The reason why is so I don't lose track of uh, orders. I know some will probably do that, but for me, I can't. Matter of fact, it may be easier just to place them like that. All right. Well, it tells you to rotate it around anyways. All right. Now, you may see me do finger exercises just to kind of, you know, still, hands still smell musty. If you ever have to go in your attic, you, know, you can. I'll bet you anything you're going to have a lot of fun up there. Unless you have an attic that's all finished off. Well, mine's is only four foot, so it doesn't bother me. I, I mean, I can go up and run wires. It's too. It's not tall enough to have a Lego room up there, and two, that's where the furnace is at. It's right in the middle of the highest part of the roof. Because out here we have central heating and air. This one goes over here. All right. One of my buddies uh, doesn't even run the heat in his house. He buys a lot of Lego, and I'm like, why? Sometimes my neighbors will blare music all hours, and I think that's what I hear. Okay. So, this goes here like that. So this, I'm assuming, goes right there. What Lego? No 2 by 2 by 2 thirds plate with bow, so we got to use a bunch of one by 2s That's not cool cheating me out of my build experience <laughs> and so far the build experience is just average for me anyways it's nothing too exciting for me to be honest i know somebody's going to say you don't see the point of these sets i mean if you're into this that's fine that's cool if you are but for someone like myself these are kind of on the
edge are just kind of meh, you know. Now, they said it was supposed to rain this weekend, but where's the rain at? Uh, we had an inch of rain a couple of, and hail and stuff a couple of days ago, or somewhere around that. And that was a treat to watch. It looked like it was snowing outside, too, and we were just kind of soaking that up. I know uh, back east they have snow days. Whoops, I put that in the wrong spot. May have to use, oh no, I don't have to use it. Yep. So tomorrow I will be crawling in the attic again to finish up the wiring. That's always fun. <laughs> Not. But I got to do it. Well, I don't have to do it, but you know, pretty soon my house will have not one but two Ethernet ports in each room. One for the computer and one for the TV. So now you don't have to unplug the computer to get to the television set. Well, I can use that, but I need this one here twice. Maybe it's my hard drive, not the music. I don't go like that, Jay. Pay attention. <laughs> All right. Sometimes I wish I could do these live. Well, this one I could have. This one I could have, because this one's due any time. But right now, you know, I was supposed to go live this winter and never did. Never did. Just been so wrapped up. Alright, so after you're done with that, okay, it goes like that. So it should look something like this. Okay, like drumsticks. And we take this one, and we start installing the legs, or we can call it the thighs, I don't know. Whoa, that just broke off. Is there supposed to be something that goes on the bottom? Oh, I missed a step. Okay, I missed one. That's my fault, not Lego's fault. That's my fault. I was like, man, that's really brittle. That should not fall apart. But it did. It shouldn't have, but it did. Why? Because I didn't finish yet. Well, now we know it's my boo-boo, my error. <laughs> error, you know. But now we know. I was like kind of bending that and going, man, you got fragile legs there. Oh, no, you know. Now he won't. Okay, well, not too bad. And don't worry, we'll change the camera angle eventually. Okay, so we got done with that, and now it looks like we're building the rear legs. We haven't done the feet yet, so it's just probably that. Okay, let's get going on that there. So there and there. We got to build a pair, so let's build the pair. A pair. In fact, i got to check something, speaking of that. Yeah, kind of slowly getting, getting ready for bed, too. While I'm doing this. Okay. Yeah, but see, I'm trying my best not to... To keep the rants down to a minimum. So I was watching, I was thinking, man, these just sound too angry. So I thought, I gotta start cutting back on the ranting. So I'm trying my best. So I'm doing pretty well there. I don't know, just getting those moods. Like, matter of fact, uh, know, I'm trying to think of any actual rants that are entertaining, but nothing, nothing, 
that's enough good quality. <laughs> Maybe I should rant about my dissertation um, thesis uh, defending, but now the roasting of Jay's thesis, his dissertation. But that happened over 20 years ago. Let me think. No, it happened about 14 years ago. My bad. I had somebody tell me is college very hard? It depends. If you really like to go, it'd be easy. If you don't want to go, it's going to be hard. So just pretend that you like it. It should go pretty easy. Yes, I'm a college boy. I'm a nerd. But hey, you know what? what gets the good jobs. I remember when I was even a kid, it's like, oh, I hope I never become one of those those college nerd guys. And what happened to me? You know, I ended up going through and finishing grad school. So I gotta be careful what I preach there. <laughs> Math and computer science. Oh, another one of those. I always encourage people to stay in school, get good grades. And then, of course, out here, they got to have the no child left behind. And I'm not going to get started into that, but it's like, you know. When I was a kid, you failed, you failed, you had to repeat. I knew somebody who repeated his senior year three times. He finally got it right. Of course, his parents made him do it just so he can get his high school diploma. They wouldn't let him. They wouldn't let him quit school, which I didn't blame them. Okay, let's do it like that. There, am I recording? Okay, I <laughs> make sure. And I thought, man, I would, I would have been roasted. I would be breathing today, but no, I did. It was a lot of work too. Okay, I need to get some of those slopes in that color. These. only five bags with this we're over the hump now now we just got to finish it up install his back legs this is just I'm just gonna call this legs if that's all there is probably the legs and the feet but I don't know yet we haven't got anything that looks like paws and I just forgot Minecraft is a running <laughs> been kind of slowly just working on a farm in Minecraft I, you know done with this step here or this bag I'm gonna go brush my teeth that needs to be done I'll tell you keep up on that kitties even the adults you never know so that's what these look like right here so obviously so I'm just gonna connect on those all right uh, let's see here but you notice I'm keeping everything like this. We don't know. I can just peek. Yeah, this one's kind of universal. Just make two of these. They don't have to be mirrored. I know there's a tree that we got to build with this too. So it's probably in bags four or five. I bear and guarantee it's probably the feet and tail in four, and then five contains the, the, the scraggly tree. We don't know yet. But this goes right there. So, boy, that's really nicely uh, set up there. Oh, that's off. Oh, it is off right there. 
right where my thumb's at, right there. So if you if you get to that point, you're like, uh oh, did I mess up? No, no, that's you didn't do that. The book did that. The book told you to mess up, huh? Okay. Now we're going to be focusing in here. Okay, don't put that there. It goes like this right there. They should have started with, oh yeah, they did start with that piece. That's my mistake again. So honestly, if you are not really, and I'm really messing up, you can tell I'm getting tired here. Uh, but I want to kind of get this one done before I have to crawl back up into that messy area again. Um, you have to pay attention to the building guides. There's just no way around it. So you get this set. That's just, you can't, this is not one you can snooze through, folks. You're going to have to really pay attention here. What I'm going to do for the review, we're going to do the final review, and I'll tack it onto this one. The reason why I'm doing it is I'm just trying to cut down on steps on filming. But so far, the set is keeping my interest. That's good. But honestly, this is not my building style. This is not something I would purchase in a store. You know what? Hold on. I think we might have a treat for you guys and gals. Let's see here. I don't know if you can hear it. There's the rain that they predicted. I don't know if you can hear it. That's what the thunking noise was. It was the rain gutter. <laughs> All right. I like it when it rains. This would be a good set to build during the spring and summer months. And, uh, yeah, I mean... <laughs> Very unusual. We were like, what is that rain we're supposed to have, huh? Because today it was clear as a bale. It was hot. It was in the 60s. And, well, there it is. Mm, brown friction forks. I can always use those for making trees and such. And these right here, these 2 by 2 plates with the two studs. Uh, Lego calls them reduced studs, a plate with reduced studs, but uh, they're really good. Matter of fact, I got a couple of those I use for uh, building tutorials. You may want to hoard some of those up. I didn't get another question asked. Well, maybe it's a question I haven't seen in a while. Jay, I don't have all the parts. It's okay if I build your stuff multicolored. Here's the deal. You can build it any way you want. All my tutorials and mocks, you can build any color you want. It's all about using your imagination. The reason why I like to build things certain colors is just to have a finished build. But you don't have to you don't have to do that if you don't want to. That must be the claws then. So this one must go like that. Well, if I could put it on there right, like that. Okay. And we're not done yet. Okay. Face it the right way, Jay. You don't want to mess up and ruin your TV show again. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta have I gotta have fun doing these guys and gals. I go nuts if I just sit here and wear a suit and tie and do this professionally. It would be very annoying. Man, that bag didn't have any spare parts. Of course, we already had some in this too. And then this 
goes right here and let's match the picture up here. It shows that this is like that. So we're going to fold both of these the same way. And then this, you got to make sure your bow is up. Okay, put it in like this and flip it over. The reason why is that's how they have it there. So, as I was looking at that going, hmm, did I even put that in right? Yes, I did. Well, imagine being caught up in the attic while it was raining today. I'd be missing out. Actually, that's a good time to go up there because the sun doesn't heat up the roof and cook you alive up there. All right, so this goes here. Huh. Well, that does that too. Okay. And then this one goes over here. Making sure I get this right. If you're not sure, don't press down all the way. Now I'm sure. There you go. It's supposed to be like that. Pretty cool, huh? And that is what we had for bag three. Let's check my work. Yeah, so we just did both of those. We just saved ourselves a bunch of time. And yeah, that's not very, it looks very painful, doesn't it? Well, well, let's wait and see. All right, now let's do bag four. Let's get this little guy some feet. It's not really fun to walk on stuffs. Okay. Bag four it is. So far, I'm going to be honest, the color palette is a bit on the warm side. It's mostly just muted colors. So, if you like these colors, these are good for terrain, but the whole build has been this so far. Not too appealing. And we got the yellow ear from the void. Come to listen carefully, and we got to make four of these. Okay, let's get going here. So obviously, there's more than what we need here for this. There's probably more than, probably for the tail or something. We don't know yet. Figuring out my game plan for tomorrow on how I'm going to tackle the rest of the house chores. <laughs> Matter of fact, I don't even have the stuff. I don't have the wall plates or anything like that yet. I'm just running the wires. Once all the wires are connected up in the attic, then I can just come in any time. I've been looking for these. But I can run the wires any time. It could be the dead middle of summer, and I don't have to worry about it. Because going up in the attic is like 130, 140 degrees, so I'm going to... I need to figure out a way to exhaust that hot air out of there. I'm thinking about putting one of those little fans in there. For a round plate, I found that round plate is medium nougat. I use these for patties, for hamburger patties, like medium well or something like that, or chicken patties if you choose. I remember these; they were in the succulent set. Now they're in the, the wolf set or the coyote, fox. Now I'm kind of really getting tired. Why do you do these so late if you're tired? Because I want to get it done so I, don't, I can do the fun stuff. All right, so the only thing I don't like is that we can see that. So all four of these... Ooh, we're going to have to be careful here. So far, it seems pretty sturdy, except for the stuff that I've been messing up on. But There we go. Um, let's see if we can get him to stand up here. And then, all right, can I bring him close? There you go. I think it's zoomed out all the way. Ah, uh, not too bad. Now we can uh, 
do the ear thing. Let's see what this is first. If that's the tail, just read ahead, like what I'm doing here. That's exactly what that is. What is this? Uh, I was going to say, is this an Eevee or something? Eevee. Well, we know there's only one tail, so we don't need to make a duplicate. So I think this thing here is probably the paws and the tail. Well, that doesn't want to go in there. There we go. All right. see here uh, a buddy of mine was we were on discord call a couple of nights ago and he was like man if I live close I'd help you with all this land stuff I'm like man it'd be nice to have a to have a partner help me with all this it really would because I'm doing everything solo I'm doing all the video editing I'm doing all the graphics I'm even writing up all the building guides for all the tutorials <laughs> All solo, and he's like, how do you handle it? I'm like, I don't know, and got a couple of these 1x3s. Just make sure the one by or the 2x3, make sure the 2 by 3s by the ball. But I'm like, dude, I don't even know how I survived, but I have. I mean, it's, it is what it is. I was looking at that, thinking, did I mess up? No, I'm looking at the wrong step. I'm looking at this thinking, well, how did that happen? But no, you have to rotate it, flip it around, make sure that the tan is facing towards us. I gotta have fun with these. But yeah, this is a good part set for furniture. <laughs> Sorry, Fox, we're gonna part you out for the couch and the coffee table. Yep, and you can sit there all you want, but guess what? We don't know yet what we're gonna do with him. I know for a fact I can't keep all these sets. I have to, when I need a part out of it, that's it. They get thrown in the scrap bin. Okay, we just got done with that. Set that off to the side there. Now we got to build two of something. Probably the stuff that goes on there. you notice the reviews have been very light? Thank you, Lego. Thank you kindly, Addy. The kindness of your heart, because I got tutorials I want to get caught up on. It uh, really helps out because I get to uh, really kind of focus. Oh, wait a minute. I maybe we're building a duplicate here. You know what? Oh, okay. I see it goes on the other side. This weekend I'm going to make some trout for my last meal before I go for the takeout again. Well, Jay, takeout's really good for you. Yeah, right. I mean, it's fine, but one goes up and one goes down. But they show it right there. You can see the, the tile with bow is right there, right above my thumb, and here it's at the top. So it's not like I made a boo-boo. That's how they want it. So if you're not sure, just really check that book. I notice the arrows in this and stuff are, are green, so they're easy for me to read. Oh, the rain stopped. Wow, that's depressing. Oh, i got to hear the... May as well close the window now. I like it when it goes rainy, rainy instead of just dead silence. No. Well, in a couple of weeks, I'll be hearing crickets and stuff outside, so I'm already hearing the morning dubs, 
which is kind of cool. Time I remember when I'd hear the morning doves, we get we we would be getting ready for vacations and stuff. And it's kind of cool. You get up early in the morning, you hear the doves. You're like, oh, cool. We're getting ready for vacations. We get to hear the doves. Wait till we get to the mountains. We're going to be hearing all the fun stuff. And my car is on its last leg, so I may get my wish and get me the car that I want. But I'm going to hang on to that old vehicle and try to restore it on my spare time not make it a it's a 30 year old daily driver <laughs> you know if you take good care of your stuff guys and gals it'll last you for a very 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 long time just like lego some people do drop test on these and break the parts and they complain that they don't have any nice lego bricks no no drop test and you don't have to worry about that Mm, okay. Okay, we only got to build one of those. Hey! Well, we already saw white in here. It's like, oh, we saw something new. But no, this is not new. This is just white. White parts. Alright, so this goes here, like that, flip it over, and this goes here. That's, that's how it is. I kind of got to thinking, though, if I really wanted to go somewhere, it'd be kind of cool to live in the United Kingdom. I don't know how many of you are watching these are from the United Kingdom, though, but it'd be kind of cool. It'd be a different sh culture shock than where my ancestors are from. Take my big, giant pickup truck over there. Trying to drive it on the road so I can see if it. No, no, I'll probably get in trouble. Let me make sure here. Okay, we're making a mirror of these. I was like, I, I was looking at the parts and I thought, no, that can't be. So let me check. Well, now I'm glad I did because I didn't want to do this twice. I mean, once is enough. It's like when I was up in the attic, I took the drill, had to crawl about probably 40 feet with the drill, flashlight, tape measure, and a pair of wire cutters. And that wasn't fun. I thought, well, if I'm out there, I'm doing everything. So I did it all in one shot. So when I go back up there and do it a second time, I don't have to drag the drill and the tape measure. Well, maybe the tape measure, but I can stuff that in my pocket. So I got a lot of stuff going. Can't wait to... Like back here, the computer's already a smart TV. So I don't need one. It's like, oh, you need to get a smart TV. Why? There's nothing on TV to watch. Well, you can watch movies on it. I'm like, well, I can watch them on my laptop or my desktop, or I can watch them on the uh, uh, blonder tongue on my black and white TVs, or I can do whatever I want. I can watch them on my iPad. Yeah, but don't you want something modern? I'm like, to watch all those commercials? I don't know. This is a little old school, but I only got channels 2 through 7, 2 through 8 working. Alrighty. Okay, so now this one here, just make sure it's facing upside down. It goes like that. And this one here goes like that. So the big slope is actually at the bottom. So when you rotate it, the, you know, this right here is here. So no, the big slope is at the top, my bad. And then we skip all that. Then we got a Mary that there making sure oh wait it doesn't matter huh we're gonna rotate it 
Well, let's do it right the first time. Make sure the studs are on the top. There we go. You probably heard the snap of that. And now we're going to install the tail on this fox, the red fox, and that just goes right in there. And no, we're not going to think any nasty thoughts with that. There we go. Looks like the one from Minecraft. We can just pretend that it's an Eevee. And let's back this up here. Raise this up a bit more. And don't worry, we'll fix the focus for you too. And that's essentially what it is. And yes, I mean, it's, a, it's really strong. I have no complaints with build quality. Oh, Pikachu here. Put that right under there. And yes, I have that toy. And it's pretty sturdy. I haven't had anything fall off of him yet. But he can say yes. And he can say no. So yeah, he say, hey, can I can I go out with my friends and stay out till 2 a.m.? And he's going to say, no, sorry, you're staying home. And the next thing you know, you'll be like this, crying you know, on the ground. Why can't I? And the fox will just say, just because. And that's a good enough excuse. But yeah, so far, it's a very sturdy build. It's pretty good. The rain is over, sadly. And here we are. We're going to start with bag number five. So him off to the side. And... Really, the same colors? I thought we saw a tree in the background, though. Well, this one's got some extra bags. Oh, there's some dark can in there. Don't you just love seeing vomit colors in a Lego set? It's always fun. Okay. I wonder if this one's going to have some colors. Oh, it's got green in there, huh? All right. Yeah, you get these paper bags, just open them very carefully. Wow, look at all the stems. Oh, and those are those three prong ones. I thought they were sixes on the box, but no. Well. So it looks like we're just building the, uh, the foliage. These plates work really good for snow terrain. White parts on a white workbench doesn't help. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the review on this one here. And when I get it all done, it won't be too bad. Yeah, I haven't worked on a fifth wheel project. Yeah, that's the next next project I'll be working on. And it's that classic one that I built many years ago that I don't even have a tutorial for that I want to back up. So I, I want to get that tutorial done real fast so I can preserve it. And pass the information along to you guys and gals. First, I thought that was going to be a Millennium Falcon. Like, one can only hope. I'm starting to pull out all the white parts because I'm trying to find pieces and... Sometimes it's just better to start pulling things out now. That doesn't go there. There's a piece.
piece in here of interest that I want to order more of. Um, well, not these, but these were in tan. Yeah. Maybe they're meant to be roots or something. We don't know what those are. A happy little root coming out of the snow. We don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have all the answers. Well, if I can grab a hold of that, shove that in there. Okay. And once you get past that, I can always use uh, one by two bricks with half bow. Oh wow, one by four. What are these? Eighteen degree slopes. Lots of dark brown in here too. Not as much as like I, I want to see a bit more, but well, I'm trying to find a. Oh, it is dark brown. Okay. Jay, you starting to sound tired? Yeah, but I'm gonna. I'm determined to get the review done real quick. So so far with my notes, build the build experience is the build experience is it's just average for me. Build quality is really good. The fox hadn't fell apart and, and all that stuff. So what would my score be as of the filming of this? You know. I got to set my own personal thoughts aside. I'm looking at, you know, is it playable? Not really. Is it collaborative? No, but it's a very sturdy build. It's a display piece, nothing more. I'm going to have to say probably a nine, nine and a half so far. Um, can't really judge it until we're done here, but we'll find out soon enough. Making sure you can still see. Okay, I need a bunch more of these uh, uh, parabolic rings for making spruce trees. So that's what we'll be finding. Okay, I don't think I have any in dark orange. I'll work good for other builds. Put those over there. We're going to have to dig them out anyways to get these. Well, we need those anyways. Oh, I see the last one. It's buried in here. So if you need a bunch of these, it's not the set's not too bad. Now, this set's $50, rounding it up. Is it worth it? Honestly, you know, it's a very interesting build. If you're into this, it's a good price. You're getting 50, it's $50 for 667 bricks. So I would say, yeah. But if you're not into this, you know, animal brick built animal stuff, it's you won't be getting a really good build. It's like for me, this is not really my this is not really the cupcake I'd choose out of the batch, so I would just say I would pass on this. But it's a nice set. Just not, not my liking, though. But at least I'm being honest. I'm not faking it or lying to you. You deserve better than that. I've had some in comments tell me I need to be positive. I mean, I'm not here to lie to you and tell you this is the best. It's average. It's just an average build. Quality? It's really strong so far. We haven't put this together yet, but... I haven't had anything flake apart yet. Okay. Need an ice cream cone. Um, Rudolph's shiny nose. That's what it looks like to me. And then... Oh, it goes in this. Ooh, that's going to be hard to remove when I take this apart. 
Okay, you're already planning that? Yeah, I'm going to take it apart when I'm done. Don't expect me to keep this all the time. Well, it's, it's got good parts that need to be harvested for fun stuff. Oh, that comes in medium nougat. Makes a great lampshade for a table lamp. All right, well, we got the lampshades for something cool. Well, we got a lampshade. Also got some of these, uh, I thought those were candlestick holders, but no, there are these. Let's see here, medium nougat jumper plates. I can always use these. Come in handy for furnishings. Okay. Yeah, so what I'm going to do after I get done building this is I'm going to go ahead and set it up. Um, do I need a turntable for this? Because it's occupied now. Well, for something like this, probably not. Turntables are more for the larger stuff, but that goes on like that. I mean, that's what the, what the building guide shows here. Oh, wait a minute. It's supposed to lock in. So it goes like that. Okay, it's pretty sturdy. I'm looking for durability. Is the set durable? Is it going to fall apart when we look at it? And so far I haven't seen anything falling apart yet. I mean, that can all change. This thing can crumble a million pieces and I have to fail it. It means the, it means the fox is going to be sad, but well, right now this fox should be okay because we haven't failed anything yet. Okay, we got to build two of something here. You can see my uh, workbench is pretty, uh, pretty cluttered. Did I put those in the wrong place? No, I did. I put them in the right place. I was like, wait, I'm looking at the step 22, and I'm on step 21. I was like, did I do something wrong? No. But I got to build two of these. That's why you see me build two. Can't believe it rained. I'm glad my windows were rolled up in my truck. <laughs> uh, somebody that I know uh, didn't do that, and they're, when we had the nasty rainstorm, their vehicle got flooded. I mean, literally flooded out. I'm like, why didn't you roll them up? Oh, I was lazy to get out of bed. And, and then I got to dry it all out. I'm thinking, dude, your car is going to smell very musty. It's a newer vehicle, too. And I'm like, what a waste. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Put these on the ends here. I got excited talking about the musty vehicle. <laughs> there we go. It looks like we're doing the same thing on the other side here. We don't have that plate. I bet that's going to be used next. So we'll pull that out. Well, this is supposed to be a tree, and they have a call out there that's really big. Oh, I was looking at putting some of my stuff on the Lego. Um, you know that those those Bricklink sets that they've been selling. I have never yet to get one of those for review. I kind of wish I would. Um, they're very expensive, very overpriced, more like mocks, mock quality. And never got any of those for review. I know somebody had asked about them, and I'm like, well, if they send them to me, I'll be glad to review them, but I have never got an offer. And, all right. And if they ever do fall in my lap, I'll review them. Okay, that goes in like that. Kind of crooked there, isn't it? There we go. So it's like that. You have to swing that in place. And 
I looked at those and I thought there'd be no way I'd ever buy stuff like that, a set like that. It just, you know. But they send them to me, I'll review them. I looked at them and I'm like, it's like putting my mocks on them. And I thought, well, what if I put my mocks on there and, and sold them? Here's the deal. Don't ever get into that. I'm glad I read all the fine print. Because if you put your stuff on there, and I kid you not, I would have made this mistake. I would be forfeiting my rights to my mocks, or whatever I upload in there. And why would they do that? We don't know, and I forgot to put this here. But for me personally, though, uh, even legal ideas is like that, too. And I thought, well, I deleted all my stuff a while back, so. But they can use your stuff at any time. Now, thank goodness all my stuff is very big and bulky, huh? <laughs> and I thought, well, I'm not even going to bother with it. Ooh, that's printed. I need more of those log, those cut log tiles. We need to get a bunch more, though. Slurp those up. But I saw that and I thought, I don't want anything to do with that. That fits right in there. But I forgot to put other pieces in here. So I read the, the terms and I thought, you want me to upload my stuff to that? And yet you get to keep the rights? E wrong answer. So we were, a buddy of mine and I were reading on discord about that and I said oh I ain't gonna do that you know goes oh and he was like oh these guys are making lots of money I said oh I said well sell the rights away I said I'm in this for fun well, that must be a mushroom then that's what that is one of those funguses fungi Something the ET uses the phone home. We don't know. Oh, foliage. Isn't that going to be fun? Let's make sure here. How many of these do we have to build? Okay, well, folks, let's do it. It's not something I want to do, but we are going to do it if we like it or not. Now, this will make. This is either going to make or break the set. But honestly. I don't think a lot of people are going to keep this set around in terms of this little scrawny Charlie Brown tree. Yeah, though, I just... When I read the rules on that and ideas, I thought, well, maybe I can upload some of my stuff for my builders to... To vote on. And when I read all that, I thought, well, I'm not going to do no such thing. And uh, that kind of turned me off. And that doesn't go there. And that still doesn't go. That's the right part, just in the wrong way. <laughs> and I thought, well, I'm not going to do that. I know some people really want my ideas where they can purchase them but honestly it'd just be better if uh, you get the building guide and Lego will end up taking the the version we've already seen them do that with a lot of illegal ideas and they had strict uh, Lego uh, or Bricklink thing had just a just had a just a just had a bunch of rules just tons of rules on how they want the building guides set up. First, I have to give them my stud file, and it has to be written up in instruction form. Then they're like, oh, don't worry about how it's formatted. Their professional designers will take care of it. Well, who's the professional? I write my own stuff up, and people buy copies of it, so I don't know. And I got to think, and more and more, I don't know, I... And I thought, I'm not going to put anything up there. It's just, you know. 
one of my buddies like, oh, you could make a lot of money. And I'm thinking, sell my rights off? I don't agree with the terms. If I don't agree with the terms, I just won't do it. I'm going to hold on. And that does go there. Okay, that fell off. So holding this baby down to probably a nine flat. Right, so that made it. Well, uh, that's not supposed to go in all the way, I guess, huh? See, it's doing that. Now, this is something I'm going to be messing with half the night now. And that's, folks, is why I grade these sets pretty hard. mess with that any more than it already is. We'll take our twig. Stick the twig in there. Uh, you know what? might be better to hold it right down here and really shove that in. And now we got to make five of these. All right. Kind of like one of those uh, botanical sets. You know, those botanicals, a lot of people are buying those more and more. So it's uh there's some there's some guys out there who refuse to buy those sets and I'm like, oh man. I got more compliments on that or you know when I have a client come over than anything else. So I'm like I'm like, bro, just buy the flowers. Oh, you wouldn't catch me doing that. I'm thinking I said the same thing until I built one of the sets that Lego wanted me to review, and I'm hooked to them. And I've bought a few on my, you know, bought a few as gifts because they work pretty good for giving away as gifts. So, you know, we well, got two of those. If you wanted to build an artificial Christmas tree, this would take you a long time. And you heard me correctly. We're going to have to build five of these. Usually it's even numbers, but not today. Okay, just be careful. I'm just barely pushing inside there. But I know there's some of the comments I've been getting from guys saying that their girlfriends really love the roses and stuff because they get to build together and that's the one thing you know what am i doing right now i'm building a set and this is all solo could this be split it up yeah bags one two three four do the fox and five does the tree whoops i put five on one of these my bad i gotta take one off i bet i won't be able to get that off very easily huh nope that's my mistake but it's just uh some people don't want the roses. They don't want to, oh, that doesn't look good. I don't, why would I buy that? Well, I mean, hey, you're missing out. <laughs> uh, the gals like it. The girlfriend likes it. So, I mean, that's all that matters. But she just doesn't like them in terms of their Lego. She's not into all this. She doesn't understand it either. But, you know, I just like, hey, it's the same thing as uh, any other type of competitive thing. That's what I do. And that's it. So now we're going to have to put these on. And it looks like they go down on this here. This cross thing here. And if you can see, this is kind of like you got to hold your breath and put together. But I haven't, except for this piece down here, or on the top there has come off. But I, this just... I don't know, I'm not really sure about this build here. See, I'm having a hard time putting that in, especially when my hands are just so tired. I think this last one goes here too. Just take this idea and call it the Charlie Brown tree. Matter of fact, I think that's what it is. It's supposed to grow at the root, and this tree was cut like it fell down. Then we got to make some shorter ones. So we got to make five more. Not too bad. It, it, 
I mean, is this a relaxing build? It gets me away from the computer, but I wouldn't say that this is a set that I would just be dying to get. So that'll be noted in the review, too. Hopefully, if I can remember. But a lot of people want to hear that. Some people want me to say nothing but positive stuff. I mean, first off, I'm going to tell you this. I'm not going to give it an F. You know, I'm not going to fail this. Just because I don't like it and don't care much for it doesn't mean I'm going to fail it. It's just not my style of build. But it's strong, except for this. But the Fox itself, you know, it's not a playable model. It's just meant to be a, a, a shelf queen, a dust collector. But it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Let's get this last piece. And then I'm going to probably get up, brush my teeth, and do the review. This is probably dragged out about two and a half hours. <laughs> all right, so here we go. Now I'll start putting more of these on here. The main focal point won't be this, obviously. Yeah, I can't believe I was taking a shower today. And I thought, man, what can I do for August? And I rack of my brains, because August has got five Fridays. What am I going to do? Well, that's when I thought, well, why don't I just do this? And I have perfect. Everything is the right theme. There you go. Like a little sapling has been growing out there. Not too bad. That could be used for a city, too, if you took that out and planted it. And that means we're done right there. And i got to scan the code on that. And that's what we have remaining. Now I want to start setting up the build here. Then we'll start doing the final. Um, I'm going to keep it like this. Now, the reason being is, because this is probably going to get ignored, except we're just going to look at it brief briefly. Let's uh, readjust here. That's going to need to be oiled. Or grease. Alrighty. Looks good. Wrong color. I need to turn the brightness up on that a bit. All right. Pull the lamp out a bit more, the overhead light. And I think that looks good. Okay? It looks really good. I may just incline to do this before I brush my teeth to get it out of the way. But you want to know... You want to take the final. You want to take a good tour of the the formal thing. Well, let's do that now. Off to the left, we have a little sapling. Looks like it's kind of growing out from the stump of this cut tree. I'm assuming that's what this is, and it's not too bad. I did have this piece here come off on the top, but other than that, it seems pretty rigid. I wouldn't go start throwing this thing around or anything like that. We got a little fungi here. Parts starting to come out. Maybe I didn't press them down all the way. But for the most part, it's not too bad. Well, let's take a look at the main feature here. Don't be eating the little scrawny tree, Mr. Fox. And this is the red fox here. And yeah, it looks pretty good. It's a brick-built animal. And honestly, it is a very sturdy build. So I didn't have nothing fall off when I assembled him. Now, you want to stare at me, huh? Okay, there you go. His tail does move. It does rotate. It's very flexible, too. I didn't have anything fall off when I built him, so that's really good. And here's his front and rear paws, and you can see everything moves. All the joints move. Everything just rotates. And if you notice, you don't see any of those joints in there. This is really thought out very well. So everything's finished off here. And, of course, here's his head. Well, he can say yes, and he can say no, or he can just go like this and, and howl away if he wants to. So further inspection, you know, you can see everything is pretty well hidden, even under here. You can just barely see the snaps. But this is really nice for what it is. The only snap you can see is the tail. 
in this right here. It's not really, really planned out very well in there, but I'm sure they probably couldn't fill it in any, anymore. But for the most part, it is a nice brick-built animal, and that's essentially what it is. It's a brick-built animal. You, well, we're just going to start right on in the review with play value, and it's just meant to be a shelf queen, nothing more. I mean, of course, you can play with them. You can have them stand up and all that stuff. But for me personally, I wouldn't roughhouse with this. This is just meant to just look good as a display piece. Now, for build quality, except for this piece here on this tree, nothing fell off this guy. Really good, sturdy build. So, if you're looking for something that's really strong and sturdy, here you go. You don't have to worry about it. Now, my build experience, I'm going to be honest with you, was average with this set. I just couldn't get into the build. I don't know if it's the color scheme or it's just the theme I'm not interested in. I, you know, I'm assuming since it's a LEGO Creator set, you are going to get something cool to build. I mean, this is cool if you like foxes, but for me, I'm just not into brick-built animals. But in addition to, since this is a three-in-one, Brick separator is included, so I'm emphasizing that now in a lot of my reviews. A lot of you told me that you want to know if there's a brick separator, so this one does actually have a brick separator. As for city drop in value, not so much with the fox, but with the little tree, you could actually put this portion here in a city, so it is possible. For mock building, you know, there's plenty of pieces in here to build other things like terrain and stuff like that. Or if you want, you could build the two alternative models. But for me personally, mock value is a bit limited. I'm sure you can make a backdrop, drop him in there, but just using the parts alone, you'd be limited with it. So my final score is going to be a 9. Now, why, why a 9? <laughs> you know, this piece here came off, but I think, honestly, it was just the bill wasn't really appealing enough. Now, here's the deal. There's no stickers with this set. And... You can put this on a shelf for a table when you're done. <laughs> it's all it is. Now, the only bad thing about this, and I wish it was a collaborative build, but it's not. Bags one through four does the fox, and bag five does the little spruce sapling. But other than that, it's not really a balanced build, so I wouldn't say that this is something that you could build with a friend. Unless you want to give somebody you don't like the tree. But for me, it's not really meant to be... A collaborative build. It's not designed for that, but it is a nice build for a solo builder. And you can get this done in probably an hour and a half, two hours, taking your time, of course. But it is a nice, very interesting build. As far as for being fun, I just couldn't get into it. But at least I'm being honest. I'm not going to lie to you. I just wasn't really interested in this build. But I'm sure somebody who's interested in brick built animals, this would be a really good set. But tell me what you think of the Red Fox by LEGO Creator. You know, to me, it's an interesting build. It was somewhat relaxing, but it's just not my type of LEGO build. But tell me what you think.